Honolulu police officers will keep patrolling Kalaheo High School tomorrow as a result of a threat made against the school. Three students were arrested yesterday for terroristic threatening. They were later released while police continue their investigation. Sources tell us that the boys made multiple threats on social media against the school, and one of them posted a picture of a gun. Experts tell us this is a good reason for parents to keep a close eye on what their children are doing on social media. Manolo Morales got more advice on how you can protect your family. Manolo? Joe, whether the threat is serious or not, police and school officials have to take it seriously. So there are severe consequences for these threats. Sources tell us that a parent actually reported the threat to the school, so the school then notified the police. Internet crimes expert Chris Duque tells me this is why parents should be having regular talks with their kids about what they post on social media. Sitting down with them and explaining to them, you know, this is not, this is not kid stuff. I mean, they're going to use the devices. There are some consequences in using the device, and if you misuse it, there might be criminal consequences they're going to have to face. Sources say this is the first time the teens have been arrested, and when questioned, they told officers that they were just joking. But terroristic threatening is a felony offense, and the teens also face suspension from the school. Duque tells me that this may not be popular, but parents should have the passwords that would allow them to their kids' social media pages. Not so much to spy on a child, but in case something bad happens, like if the child is, you know, abducted, uh, law enforcement, all the authorities may be able to get into the device. As for how the situation was handled, parents tell me they should have been told about the situation sooner and received more information. Kawi Girona tells me she heard about it from her son well before the school notified her. When we found out that the kids were texting each other back and forth saying someone had a gun, someone posted on Instagram that they're coming to school to shoot someone, and it was just freaky. It's like, that's scary. As a parent, to know that that happens at your son's school. The Department of Education tells me it sent an automated phone message to parents around 9.30 a.m. and again around 11.30 but Girona tells me the lack of information was troubling. Stating that the situation on campus was taken care of and police will be on campus for the remainder of the day. That was it. There was no explanation or anything. The school did send an email to parents with more information later in the evening. Sources tell us that no weapon was ever found on any of the three students. A spokeswoman for the Department of Education tells me that due to privacy laws, she cannot tell me what punishment will be imposed. Manolo Morales, KHON, 2 News.